Gaming Vault presents 15 video game bosses that almost took zero effort to beat. Some bosses can be challenging, demanding countless retries. Others are smaller but still push you, providing a nice little fight en route to worse threats. However, there are some bosses that can be brushed aside rather easily. Whether it's a hellacious boss taken down with an incredible build or actual pushovers, here are 15 bosses that took almost zero effort to beat. Warning, spoilers inbound. Champion Gunder, Dark Souls 3. So Champion Gunder isn't the toughest Dark Souls boss to beat, and that's perfectly fine, but why not trivialize the heck out of him anyway? Popular Souls one-shotter Ray Dimitri used a number of buffs, Dragon Form, Flynn's Ring, etc., along with the Fume Greatsword. He then went with a repost attack to effectively kill Gunder in one motion. Seems about right. Taurus Demon, Dark Souls. In the original Dark Souls, one-shotting enemies and bosses with the plunging attack isn't very difficult. For the Taurus Demon, you need to do some work. First, locate the Black Knight in a building to the right just before the boss fight. Once you kill him and pick up his sword, level up and then position yourself on the vantage point overlooking the Taurus Demon. Execute a plunging attack and BAM! No more Taurus Demon. Tachibana Munashigi, Neo. Oh look, another encounter, this time it's Tachibana, Munashigi, and Neo, who can be one-shot by, get this, countering and stabbing him with his own weapon. Along with some buffs via talismans, one needed to be barehanded for this to work, and we say needed because the sheer damage of this technique was apparently patched. Regardless, it's an impressive feat. Electrocutioner, Batman Arkham Origins. Batman Arkham Origins had a number of proper boss battles, which set it apart from the other games in the series. Electrocutioner, though, isn't one of them. After taking himself up, Electrocutioner goes down with one kick. Batman would tell Alfred later that the kick could have been dodged by a child, further cementing Electrocutioner as an utter joke of a boss. T-002 Tyrant First Form Resident Evil Remake The first form of the T-002 Tyrant can be very easily dispatched. How? Well, simply let Barry die in the Resident Evil remake while playing as Jill Valentine. No, seriously, do it because you'll get Barry's 44 Magnum, also known as the Colt Anaconda. With only six bullets in the entire game, this weapon is able to one-hit kill the T-002 Tyrant quite handily, along with a bunch of other bosses like Yawn and Plant 42. Conrad, Spec Ops The Line Colonel John Conrad isn't technically a boss per se, but he's painted as the primary antagonist of Spec Ops The Line. En route to slaying dozens, if not hundreds, of enemies, the player is faced with the sudden revelation, Conrad is already dead. The Conrad speaking to Captain Walker is a figment of the latter's imagination, a vivid hallucination created from Walker's guilt over killing innocents. One bullet is all that's needed to kill Conrad. The question is who you shoot at the end. Bob the Goldfish, Earthworm Jim. After grinding out a brutal journey through the shark tunnel, you come across Bob. Bob is a goldfish and quite the smarmy fellow. However, he's still just a goldfish. It's possible to knock his bowl over and watch him flop around. It could be worse though, in the sequel, Jim actually eats him. Kind of a reversal of the old worm being used as bait for fishing tradition. Billy Gray, GTA 4 The Lost and the Damned. As the main antagonist in Grand Theft Auto IV's DLC, The Lost and the Damned, Billy Gray is imprisoned and prepared to testify against the Lost MC. This leads to Johnny leading some of his boys to the Alderney State Correctional Facility to silence Billy. Given all the crap that Billy has put Johnny through, you'd think he'd put up a fight. Alas, he leaps at Johnny with a knife and takes a bullet to the heart, resulting in his death. Sal Marcano, Mafia 3 the big boss of the Marcano family, Sal Marcano, is the one who killed Lincoln Clay's adopted family in Mafia 3. In the game's climax, Lincoln shoots his way to the casino where Marcano is hiding and ultimately confronts him. At this point, the player can leave Marcano, who will shoot himself or elect to kill him. This will cause Lincoln to stab Marcano in the chest and kick him out of the casino penthouse window. Suffice to say, Sal was quite the pushover. Get it? Blib Blob, Adventure Time, Hey Ice King, Why'd You Steal All Our Garbage? Dubbed the cutest warrior, Bliblob is a subordinate to the cute king. That at least explains the name. Bliblob is known for blowing up, that too very easily, so it's not strange to simply destroy him in Adventure Time, Hey Ice King, Why Do You Steal All Our Garbage? Then again, since Bliblob has survived exploding himself before, we'd say he's never truly gone. The Sorrow, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. 
One of the stranger boss fights on this list, the battle against the sorrow doesn't really require you to reach the end. All you have to do is take the revival pill and come back to life. Now, if you do make it to the end, there is a sweet piece of camouflage for your efforts, but for all intents and purposes, the sorrow really won't challenge you all that much. Geisha, Tenchu Fatal Shadows. Have you ever encountered a villain who made you hate him, not because he just ran away, but who he left to fight you? Tenchu Fatal Shadows had this with Giozo, who leaves his Geisha lover to fight you. The Geisha, however, is pretty weak and only possesses a dagger. One hit is all it takes to end her. In terms of scummy behavior, this probably rates close to the top for us. Grey Prince, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion saw the last boss of the arena, the Grey Prince, being very easy to beat. However, there are some conditions to fulfill. First, you have to complete a side quest that reveals the Grey Prince actually being a vampire's son. Once this fact is revealed to him, he'll lose all will to live and ask for a swift death. Hmm, works for us. Yu Yevin, Final Fantasy X. Yu Yevin in Final Fantasy X isn't supposed to be overtly difficult and helps wrap up the game, with Braska's final Aeon being considered the true final boss in terms of a challenge. That being said, when Yevin is touted as the biggest threat to the world, you expect a bit more than something that heals itself constantly. Yevin does cast Ultima when its health gets low, but since your party is always being healed, you have to try very, very hard to lose. Colonel Autumn, Fallout 3. The final boss of Fallout 3 is Colonel Autumn, and he may cut a rather imposing profile. Alas, it's not to be. If you level up enough and have a good amount of high-powered weaponry, power armor, and companions, it's fairly easy to beat the tar out of him. You can even kill Autumn with one headshot if you're that strong. You could also use a speech check and ask him to leave, which is fine, we suppose. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.